Hi, this is problem number 17 on centroid of plane figures. Uh, here the question is uh, to determine centroid of the shaded area with reference to the apex. Okay. Which means the top point of the triangle here. So this point is apex. Okay. With respect to this apex point, we have to determine the centroid of the shaded area. Okay. So as it is asked to find uh, the centroidal distance with reference to the apex, so you have to write the uh, reference axis with respect to the apex only. Okay. So now what I will do with reference to the apex only, I will write the reference axis. So this is reference y axis reference y axis and reference x axis you can draw either towards right or towards left whichever is convenient for you so i will write reference x axis here okay so don't write reference axis like this okay so in this problem it is specifically asked to find centroid with reference to the apex point so so we have to draw the reference axis with respect to the apex only. okay now coming to the symmetry the figure is symmetric about y axis right figure is symmetric about y axis means which means the y axis is dividing the figure into two equal parts if the figure is symmetric about y axis x bar is known okay if the figure is symmetric about y axis x bar is known so in the solution we will write figure is symmetric about y axis figure is symmetric about about y axis therefore x bar is equal to here x bar is equal to 0 y it is 0 so here x bar is nothing but distance of centered from the reference y axis ok if I take capital G as centroid of whole shaded area or the whole figure, okay, the centroid lies in the y axis only, therefore x bar is equal to 0. There is no distance of this capital G from the reference y axis, okay, therefore x bar is equal to 0. So if you have taken reference axis here, then you would have got distance, okay. If you have taken reference axis like this, reference x axis and reference y axis then x bar will be equal to it is 160 overall 160 mm is the base width of the triangle so it will be 80 mm 80 mm okay the distance of the centroid from the reference y axis will be 80 mm but here in this case you have taken the reference y axis uh, through the apex so x bar is equal to 0. Distance of that centroid of the whole figure from the reference y axis is 0 because centroid lies in the reference y axis. So that is why x bar is equal to 0. Okay. Now we have to find the y bar. Okay. To find the y bar we have to find component area y and ay values. y and ay values. We will find it now. Now divide the whole figure into this overall rectangle as component number 1 you take this overall rectangle as component number 1 here it is taken already so circle as component number 2 rectangle as component number 3 and semicircle as component number 4 ok component number 2 rectangle as component number 3 semicircle as component number 4 ok now we will write all the formulae, all the formulae we will write. So I will take G2 as centroid of the circle, okay. For circle, centroid will be at its center only, okay, at its center only. And for rectangle, so the central distance is B by 2. See, we are taking, we have taken reference axis uh, uh, from the apex point. So, from the apex point only, I will write the formula. 
dy2 okay dy2 then for uh, semicircle if i take g4 as centroid from its diameter it is 4r by 3 pi okay for semicircle distance of centroid from its diameter is always 4r by 3 pi but we want uh, distance of g4 from this uh, apex point so it will be overall distance minus 4r by 3 pi that we will do it during the calculation part okay now i have written the formula okay so here the radius of the circle will be see diameter is given as 40 mm here radius becomes 20 mm okay and even it becomes central distance from its periphery okay now we will start doing the calculation by taking each and every component separately first component is overall rectangle uh, total sorry overall triangle total triangle component number 1 area is half into base into height half into base is 160 into height it is 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 1 2 3 4 5 6 so overall depth is <coughs> 240 mm 240 mm is the overall depth of rectangle right 240 mm so half into 160 into 240 half into 160 into sorry here 160 into 240 the area that you get is uh, 19200 mm square 19200 mm square here mm square millimeter is the unit here millimeter cube okay now coming to the y value for overall rectangle okay coming to the y value for overall rectangle means, means distance of uh, centroid of triangle from reference x axis okay so let me write a separate diagram for your understanding purpose uh, here if i take the triangle no triangle see for triangle distance of centroid from its base is always h by 3 h by 3 from the apex it is 2h by 3 this we have derived during the derivation of centroid of the triangle okay both the equations we have derived during the derivation of centroid of a triangle so from the apex point it is 2h by 3 okay so here i'll take 2h by 3 as formula 2h by 3 2h by 3 which is equal to 2 into height is 240 divided by 3 okay answer is 160 mm 160 mm okay then second component is circle circle which is component number 2 area is Minus pi r square. Why minus? Because it is a unshaded portion. We have to deduct area of unshaded components. The radius is 20 mm minus pi into 20 square. Answer is minus 1256.6. okay then coming to the y value y value means distance of centered of circle from reference x axis this is the y value for circle okay so it is how much from here to <coughs> from here to here it is 40 mm 40 plus 20 okay 40 plus 20 will give distance of centered of the circle from the reference x axis So 40 plus 20 is 60 mm. So 40 plus radius, which is equal to 40 plus 20, 60 mm is the y value for uh, circle. 
ओके सिक्सटी एम एम इज दी वैल्यू फॉर सर्कल देन थर्ड कॉम्पोनेंट इज रेक्टैंगल रेक्टैंगल थ्री rectangle 3 again we have to take negative sign because it is also one sided portion minus b into d minus b into d which is equal to minus b is width of rectangle is uh, 60 mm and its depth is given as 40 mm 60 into 40 60 40 40 minus 2400 mm square okay then then coming to the y value okay for rectangle distance of if i take g3 as centroid of rectangle distance of g3 from reference x axis so this will be the y value for triangle so it is 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 20 means d by 2 okay so same calculation i'll write here 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus d by 2 which is equal to 120 plus 1 sorry 40 by 2 it will be 140 mm 140 mm okay then the last component semi circle semi circle component number 4 minus pi r square pi 2 which is equal to radius of semi circle is how much it is given as 40 mm the radius of the semi circle is given as 40 mm here minus pi into 40 square by 2 which is equal to minus 2514.28 mm square okay coming to the y value for semi circle okay means distance of centroid of semi circle from the reference x axis means distance of g4 from reference x axis this is the y value for semi circle how do you calculate it overall depth of the triangle minus this 4r by 3 pi will give y value for semi circle means distance of centroid of semi circle from the reference x axis okay so overall depth is 240 mm 240 minus this 4r by 3 pi will give distance of g4 from reference x axis so it is 240 minus 4r by 3 pi which is equal to 240 minus 4 into 40 by 3 pi okay the answer for this is uh, 223.03 223.03 0.3, 0.23. Okay, let me cross check this answer. 4r by 3 pi. 4 into radius is 40 divided by 3 pi. This minus uh, 240. Yes, it is 223.023. Correct answer. now uh, we will take uh, ay values ay for uh, triangle 1 it is 19200 into 160 19200 into 160 the answer is uh, 3072 3072 000 3 0 Seven two three one zero. So next answer is one thousand two fifty six point thousand two fifty six point six three into sixty. It is minus seventy five thousand three ninety seven. Minus seventy five thousand three ninety seven. Okay. Then two <coughs> thousand. Uh, what is the next calculation we have to do? 
yes it is 2400 into 140 2400 into 140 so it is 33000 sorry uh, 3 lakh 36000 3 lakhs 36000 then here 2514.28 into 223.023 it is 56000 sorry 5 lakh 60742 5 lakh 60742 okay so after the Number I, I am not I will not be taking the after the point I am not taking these digits okay because it is a large number it doesn't matter if you ignore uh, the numbers of after the point so five lakh sixty thousand seven forty two okay we will add all the numbers so here negative sign here also negative sign right so we will add all the numbers now. plus sorry minus 3,36,000 minus 75,397 plus 3,072,000 the final answer is Two zero nine nine eight six zero two zero nine nine eight six zero is the final answer sigma ay and coming to total area total area is uh, nineteen thousand two hundred minus one two five six Point six three minus two thousand four hundred minus two thousand five fourteen point two eight there is thirteen thousand twenty nine point zero nine thirteen thousand twenty nine so we know the formula for y bar you know that y bar is equal to sigma a y by sigma a which is equal to two zero nine nine 860 divided by 13,029 so it is 2099860 divided by answer so final answer is 161.16 mm 161.16 <coughs> millimeter okay so this completes the solution of this particular problem if you have got any doubts uh, you can post it in the, in the comment box okay thank you